Well, we were, we were in combat order, uh, going into a village, a uh, small town, uh, when the, the lead tank in our, we had two tanks, two half-tracks, four tanks, four half-tracks or so, I mean, you know, that kind of a thing. And the lead tank got, uh, hit a mine, had, had some of its, uh, track blown away and so we were stuck and uh, we knew immediately uh, this is I mean we have had a lot of experience by this time that the Germans were counting on this and had the areas zeroed in with the 88s around uh, and what they would hope to do is then cut us off at the back so we couldn't retreat and then they'd just you'd be like sitting ducks, you know, they'd, they'd pick us off. That's, but the colonel also knew this. He was a bright guy. I, I liked him. <clears throat> said, let's get out of here. We're going to, there's a, he looked at the maps and saw that there was a, a meadow around the corner. Where we, were. we got all the vehicles out before the 88 started coming in. And uh, then the order was, went to us, to the, the infantry to get out of the half-tracks and uh, take the town uh, as infantry and uh, then they can move in and with the equipment we take over. Uh, <clears throat> so that's what we did. We started through the woods. Uh, uh, there was woods surrounding the town uh, except for this open meadow. And we moved out of the meadow through the woods and we have a lot of snipers and, and uh, really local local people. In the, I mean, it was Wehrmacht in part, probably, and SS in part, but there were all sorts of people out ready to shoot. Uh, and we were doing our usual thing of just laying out massive fire, fire and uh we hadn't counted on the kind of resistance we were finding, so we ran out of ammunition, and they they, uh, uh, they sent me back to the uh, tanks and the half tracks to pick up the ammunition for the for the for my squad, and uh, so I went back, and uh, nobody was around. It was strange to walk in the, the, the meadow and the. Tanks were all buttoned down and the half packs nobody was showing above the sides, the armored sides. And the, they said, hey man, get out of here because there's the snipers in there. And I said, I, you know, I can't, I've got to get, uh, got to get some bandoliers, just throw them out, I'll keep walking. Because I knew that was the best defense I had, was just to keep walking and I'd go around and pick them up as I could, and I picked up about 10 or 12 I couldn't carry anymore, and got back to the edge of the woods, and that's when I saw that, that a, one of the sniper bullets had, had actually grazed the front of my rifle, which I had you know, hanging out over, the, over my arm. Uh, and I was going through the woods, and uh, I heard somebody say, uh, uh, help, I mean here, not help, here. And so I uh, uh, thought it was a GI because here is in German and in English it sounds the same. And it was a young German with his stomach blown open. It must looks like he'd been hit with a 50 caliber, but I, I was surprised at the extent of the wound anyway. He wanted me, and his rifle was there, but he wanted me to shoot him. And uh, I was as close as I am to you. And we were looking into each other's eyes. There was this other blue-eyed kid who was about 18 or 19, too. And uh, I, uh, I had enough German in high school to to know exactly what he wanted me to do. To do and I pretended I didn't understand him and I kicked the rifle away into the woods, his rifle. 
and, and went on. And it's, uh, it's been a scene that's haunted me ever since. I, I think if I had been older, uh, and, and I don't know if I'd seen more. This was pretty late in the game. I could have pulled that trigger and ended, ended it for him. I would do that. Uh, but I got back to the, my squad because I knew they were anxious for the ammunition and then we went down and, and, and took it. But that's, that's the first time that, uh, I had physical evidence that a bullet had come that close to me. I've heard them snap, you know, when a bullet comes over your head, you can, there's, a, there's a snap to it, there's a crack. And uh, I learned to identify that. What, uh, what, what village were you in? Do you remember what city you were near? Uh, no, I could try to find that out. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, I can't, uh, I can't pull it out. Uh, but it was in Germany. Pardon? Was it after Trier? Oh, my, yes, it was after the Rhine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, uh, it was uh, towards, towards, oh, I suppose, uh, it must have been mid-April somewhere. Mm -hmm. 